Vinny? I'm surprised you still recognize me. Are you really here? I wish I wasn't. Uh, Vinny, this is Laurent. What am I supposed to say? Pleased to meet you? Vinny. I think I should leave now. I think that would be best. Thank you. I'll see you later. Um, I guess. Okay. You're unbelievable. Look, I didn't plan this. It just happened. Oh, right. You just tripped and fell on his lips. It wasn't serious, Vinny. So then what was it, Blossom? Just for fun? Well, you ought to know. Remember you and Marsha? Please, that was different. Oh, really? What was so different about it? I turned around one day and you were kissing her. Explain the difference. You didn't sell your bike and fly to Paris to do it. I don't know what to say, Vinny. It's all right, I do. I'm glad I came here, Blossom. Because now I know that it's over. Once and for all, I can stop torturing myself. You're not being fair, Vinny. I'm not? What did I miss? Well, how about the fact that we're not really going together? I mean, it's not like we had a commitment and then you found me with someone else. Even though what you found me doing wasn't anything more than just a kiss anyway. You're right about one thing. It's not like we have a commitment. As far as I'm concerned, we don't have anything but memories. Followed us? No, no way. We gotta go to the police. Joey, take a look at this. Looks a little like Alice Cooper. How do we explain to the police that we brought Alice here through French customs? Well, I wanna know who this guy is chasing us. This guy's been following us all the way from Los Angeles. Here's what I think. I think this is some kind of artifact. Look, Tony, no offense, but this is not art, okay? This is a guy's head. Yeah, but it's ancient. It's a mummified head. It's the curse of the mummy. Well, we have to assume those guys in L.A. were thieves. And they used us to get this thing out of the country. Which means that Jacqueline shit was a crook, too. Well, what does all this tell you? There's no place like home? No. No, it tells you that this thing is very valuable. So what do we do now? We find Mom. Right, then leave the box at her place and call the cops. You would frame your own mother? Hey, she walked out of us, didn't she? Let me just ask her for money, you know, so we don't starve before we figure out what to do. You see, I told you I could keep an appointment once in a while. <laughs> I had no doubt. <laughs> uh, sure, that's why you have a novel sticking out of your bag. Better safe than sorry. I'm in. <laughs> so why the long face? Vinny showed up today. The guy from L.A.? He sold his motorcycle to get a ticket. Oh, he's got it bad, huh? Not anymore. When he found me, I was kissing Laurent. Blossom. Shocked. So was he. So was I. I feel really awful. Give it time. These things have a way of changing. Do you think I should try and find him? I could call his mom in L.A. She might know where he is. I'd love to help, you know. It's just that I'm sure that whatever I told you would turn out to be the wrong advice. I, I'm lousy with this stuff. I told you. Wait up, uh, kid. Come on, let's eat. And if you order escargot, I'll have to move to another table. <laughs> Hello? Hi, sweetie. How's it going? Hi, Daddy. So, what's new? Um, Vinny's here. I know, he wanted to surprise you. Oh, he did. I'll bet he was glad to see you. Well, actually, I was kissing another guy when he found me. Oh, no. Well, it was really just a flirtation with this guy I met over here, but... Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was embarrassing. There was no yelling or screaming or anything. 
So how was it left? Well, Laurent, um, that's the French guy. He went home, and Vinny basically said he never wants to see me again. I'm so sorry, baby. How do you feel? Awful. I mean, I just, I don't know what to do. Do you know where Vinny's staying? I don't even know if he's staying. You think I should call his mom? Why not? You don't want to leave it unfinished. I know. It'll work out, sweetie. These things always do. Yeah. It seems like it's the end of the world, but it really isn't. Really? I know. I'm okay with it. You sure? Yeah. Thanks, Dan. So, is your mother there? No, she had to go to work. How's it going with you guys? Um, what do you mean? Are you getting along? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, um, things are really, really great. Um, it's kind of like having an old friend or something. It's really terrific. We went shopping. Well, I'm... I'm glad it's going well. <laughs> Surprised, but glad. Yeah. All right, well, I won't keep you. No, it's okay, really. And these calls do tend to get expensive. <laughs> you're right, I forgot. Keep thinking you're right around the corner. I am. It's just a big corner. Well, we'll talk again soon, right? Right. You sure you're okay? I've never been better. Well, all right then. Goodbye, hon. Bye, Daddy. She okay? Yeah. I don't know. She says she is, but you know how you can hear something in the way they say things? Oh, sure. I call it listening to the music. The words may be saying one thing, but the melody, totally different. Yes, that's it. She's a smart person. She'll be all right. Yeah. <sighs> How six? Oh, she's lost. <laughs> mm. Those two are very close. It's hard. Yeah, this whole thing is hard. I hate it. I know. I can deal with almost anything but loneliness. It's tough, isn't it? The worst. Well, I'm glad you've been around. You're glad I've been around? What does that mean? You heard I used to date the Navy? Yes, I did hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't thank me too much. Being here helps me too. How about this whole thing with Letterman, huh? I mean, is that unbelievable or what? I thought that he would stay on at 12.30 forever. I mean, not that I could ever stay up that late. I'd tape a show and watch it in the morning after 6 we'll go to school and I was supposed to be cleaning the house. I know the cliche is that women watch all the soaps all day long, but I could never get into them. I liked my Letterman tape and then the game shows. I would slide straight into The Price is Right. I think Bob Barker is so handsome and his work with animals is really wonderful. Who plays? Let's leave. Look, you can talk to her alone if you want. She's our only source of income at the moment. No, I don't mind asking her for money. I just don't want to be nice to her, that's all. Just try to keep it together, okay? All right. Oh, my God. What? Where? What? I know that guy. Oh, my God. What? Where? What? I know that guy. It's Vinny. You think he's after us? No, I don't. Whatever you do, don't mention the box. What are you guys doing here? It's got nothing to do with this. We just came over here to see our mom. Oh, really? That's cool. I assume you're here to see Blossom? Yeah. Well, I'm looking for her. I figured your mom would know where to find her. Neither of them know we're here. It's kind of a surprise. Well, she's got nothing to do with this. Well, I, I guess she can really sing, huh? You tell me. There have been doors I've never There have been tears that never show behind a smile. 
There have been races I have run Where I've fought for every mile There are memories that will always be mine And where I've been and what I've done Is who I am today are you? No. Oh. This is Vinny Bonatardi. We didn't even know he was here. Vinny! As in Blossom and Vinny. Yeah? Well, hello, Vinny. Hi. You sing great. You sure do. You were sensational, Mom. Thank you. Did you like the show, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Oh. Is it me, or did it just get chilly in here? Look, Mom, I'm gonna come right out and tell you the truth, which is more than you did for us. I'm only here to see Blossom and a look at the city. Fair enough. Blossom's at my apartment. Three, four, five, Saint Germain. You'll see a lot of the city on the way. Fine. I'll see you there later, Tony. Yeah, no problem. See you, Vinny. Later, Joe. Joe! It was good to see you again. Well, anybody else want to take a shot at me? He'll be okay. Think so? I have no idea. So you're going to stay for the second show? Absolutely. Vinny? Well, actually, I was kind of looking for Blossom, too. Ah, well, it's none of my business, but I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Yeah, I know. The thing is, I don't know what she wants me to do. <laughs> I don't think she knows what she wants, either. Well, what do you think I should do? Well, there's an old song that goes, sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. Tomorrow night? <laughs> I don't know, Laurent. I mean, it sounds beautiful. No, I don't know where he is. All right, but only his friends, okay? That would be nice. Well, I'll leave my mom a note now. She tends to sleep all day because she works all night. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. Who is it? Pizza boy. What? Flowers. Flowers? Telegram. Telegram. Oh, just open the door. It's a land shark. Joey? <gasps> How you doing, kiddo? Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to the movies, and I took a wrong turn on Coanga. Come on, really? No, Tony and I came over to visit. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> we got uh, courier tickets. 
and uh, we lost our luggage. <laughs> We're being chased. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Okay. Believe me, you do not have time to hear about it right now. So, um, where's Tony? He's over with Mom. Oh, did you see her? Yeah, I saw her. Did you fight? Nope, she's not worth fighting with. Benny was over there. At the club? We had this big fight. This is too weird. Well, believe me, if you tracked Mom down, it's not because he doesn't care about you. That's a double negative, but you're right. Maybe he'll call. Sure he will. God, it's so bizarre to see you here. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it is. So how's it going with you and Mom? Good. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you really like living with her, huh? It's really good. <laughs> what? You can't fool me. What are you talking about, Joey? You broke my speed racer when I was seven and you were six. You tried to tell me that Tony did it, but Tony was with me when it happened. Do you remember that? Vaguely. That was the first time I ever knew that you were lying. You got this really weird look in your eyes. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I memorized it. So if you were ever lying again, I'd be able to tell. I just saw it blossom. What's going on with you, Mom? Well, yeah, um, it's new. You know, it's new. It's really going to take some getting used to. Uh-huh. She's got different rhythms, different priorities. Uh-huh. Actually, I hate it. No more calls, folks. I think we have a winner. Well, it's not really hate. I mean, I love Mom, and I love Paris. It's just... God, I don't know. We just seem to feel really differently about things. What things? Oh, like everything in the world, those things. So what are you going to do now, kid? I don't know what to do about anything, Joey. I've never been so confused in my life. I'm going to help you. You got any money? Yeah, I've got some. You know what I think you should do? I think you should take your big brother out and buy him some really great French food. And that's going to solve all my problems, huh? No, but it'll sure as heck solve one of mine. I'm starving. Okay. So hungry. Bye. Breakfast is served. Did you see anything? No. Good. Good. Very good. Excellent. Are, are you guys sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. sure. Of, course. of course. It's just so traumatic when you see an animal like that in the house. I mean, the kind of thing you expect to see out in the forest or in Africa or something is suddenly right there in your urban environment. Well, that can upset a person. Am I right? You're right. Want some eggs, Six? I'd love some. Thanks. Delicious. So, would you like another drink? Yeah, I'd love one. I'll be right back. 